giving you a voice, making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. Break into the top five. We're going to lead off with team number 3310. From Heath, Texas, Rockwell Heath High School, it's Blackhawk Robotics, 32, 3 and 1 overall, and we're the winners of the Amarillo and Greenville district events. So 3310 put two district events on their schedule in 2019, and both times, they left with all the hardware. This bike machine is fast, comfortable with hatches and cargo, and features a really fast third-level climb. and really makes their robot the complete package. For the past two years, 3310 has been there to been to their division finals at the Houston Championship, winning once, uh, and they'll be using the Texas District Championship as a tune-up uh, for another run at Einstein. So good luck to Team 3310 Blackhawk Robotics. So nice. I feel like they just – I don't know if they – in my mind, maybe it's just me. They they somehow run under the radar just a little bit. Like it's just the 148, 118 machine in Texas is is so strong. But 3310 for the past four years at least has been just yes. unbelievably dominant at their events. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of, kind, of, kind of the way 1323's been until this year too, right? So yeah. maybe maybe they just need that one extra year to get them over the top. Yeah. Yeah, kind of like yeah, flying under the radar a little bit and in, in the shadows of 118, 148. But like we're talking about them all the time. So mm -hmm. very cool. Nice. 3310. All right. Cool. Justin's muted. All right. Moving <laughs> from five to four, uh, we have team 1619. <laughs> from Longmont, Colorado, it's Upper Creek Robotics. They have an overall record of 31. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> 22 times, Justin. An overall record of 31 and three. They were the winners of the Oklahoma and the Colorado Regionals. So 1619 took the number one seed and the win. Um, at the Oklahoma, um, and it's causing some heads to turn with the unique suction lev the unique suction level three hab climb, which saves space for others. This past weekend, they continued the success, taking the number one seed again, this time with a 3.7 ranking score average. They had seven out of their 10 matches were four ranking point matches, seven unicorn matches out of 10, which is just insane. So I really love their mechanism to get the hatch panels. It's just a really fluid motion. I think we'll see it. Oh, no, they're not. They're going for cargo. Um, <clears throat> it's just a really fluid motion when they go get it from the human player station. And they're just dominant at their cycles and their efficiency. So um, we'll be seeing them next um, at the Houston Championships. I really just cannot wait to see how they do. Um, just an incredible robot. And uh, just really, really well done. So congrats to them. Nice. Yeah, I, I love 1619's robot this year. Um, you know, last year they had a great robot. I really like theirs uh, this year actually quite a bit more, not just because the aesthetics, I think just the overall fluid, uh, fluidity that that robot is bringing and that, that climb looking really good too. And, you know, 1619 just showing off, uh, you know, once again, our, that they are every bit just as good as uh, many of the robots in the, the West area. Uh, where Colorado, I think, gets a little bit under notice because they're out a bit. And uh, Upper Creek just looking for another division win. You know, I can't wait to see them at championships and just wait to see them kick a lot of butt. Yeah, for sure. It's just like, yeah, just not to bring it up again, but their, re their release, like, it's just like kind of like gives when they get it and they and they yeah. like, get it back from. And same thing when they, it's just like a fluid motion. Like the robot just like never like completely stops. Like it just, it goes in and then it comes back out. It's just so nice when they when they pick it up, so. Very good. Nice. <clears throat> All right. So moving on to number three. The team's going to be number 2056. From Stony Creek, Ontario, Canada, Orchard Park Secondary School, OP Robotics, 18 and 0 undefeated winners, the Waterloo District event. So we had to wait four long weeks for 2056 to bring their 2019 robots at Planet Primus for the first time. It was worth the wait. Dominated the field, earning 40 ranking points over 12 matches to take the top spot by uh, by 10 ranking points. Uh, it's the classic 2056 robot, in my opinion. When I talk about when we talk about strategy uh, with our team, we want to be fast, efficient, and reliable. 2056 does that the best. Uh, I don't see them have a bad match, and if that's not the OPMO, I don't know what is. They so, care that. Go ahead. so not scary, sketchy. <laughs> not scary, <laughs> sketchy, but solid, fast, efficient, and reliable uh, for 2056. Um, but they will certainly carry the undefeated streak into their uh, Week Six event, which is uh, I, had, I didn't have it. Uh, McMaster, I think. McMaster, they'll they'll be with yeah, twelve forty one. Twelve forty one. So, yep. Yep. That's Week Six. So oh man! Great yeah. start to the season. They just have such like classic dominant robots. I remember like 
I don't know which event it was. I think when it like Libby was up there too when we first it was the oh 2013 Ultimate Ascent. Um, just like getting an up close look, like I think that was our first kind of really exposure to like up close 2056. And man, they just they're just so dominant at what they build every year, year in year out. And um, as you saw on the um, the clips of the week, they're just so smart at the game, right? So they get two hatch panels and they turn around and they're ready to like accept the ball out of like that second cargo space in the cargo ship and just like maximizing every single second of the match. Um, they're just that like, you know, they just, they have that mind power and brain power to think kind of outside the box of what else they can do um, just to maximize their score and their time on the field. And then this year is no different. So Wow, another another great year for 2056. Great seeing them. For sure. All right, so this is the hashtag drama spot. <laughs> All the drama is in the two spot. Um, and this week, it goes to team 1678. From Davis, California and Davis High School, it's the Citrus Circuits. They have an overall record of 29-2, and two, and they were the winners of the Central Valley and the Sacramento Regionals. So they're taking hold of the double cling bling at Central Valley. It was no surprise to anyone to see 1678 and 1323 team up again for the second time this season to take home the win, which was again this past weekend at Sacramento. Uh, they did eight and one record, um, ranking second with a 3.33 ranking score average. 1678 would no surprise, except the invitation for Med 10 Robotics. Um, they have a two patch handle on the far side of the rocket, um, which is um, just that much more impressive. Um, and with the level of play of 1678 um, and with the rules of, you know, the rules of the only one defensive bot, you just can't keep up with the two scores like 1678 and 1323 together. Just I was watching finals match one and, you know, blue line six, um, a defensive robot on 1678. Um, they kind of the red alliance kind of kept their third robot 3859 back to help um, just uh, leaving kind of blue to score at will. But. 1323 completes a full rocket in that match by themselves. And um, just watching 1678 just play so well through like so much defense, not only defense of the blue Alliance robot, but kind of their own red Alliance robot that was trying to alleviate that defense. And they're still just getting, you know, there's that they're still just powering through. So um, another great job, another great week. Second uh, blue banner to look for a third blue banner. Um, when they'll compete later this season at the aerospace regional, uh, before they move on to championship. So congrats to the Citrus circuits. Um, it was just, it was fun watching, watching the, the level of play again this week. So. so this was their third blue banner this weekend. I think they did chairman's and the regional win at their first event. First event. So, yep. Yep. Wins. Yep. So they're looking for their fourth banner at their next event. Oh, wow. fourth banner. Yep. Yep. Thanks. Christine. Yep. Nice. Yeah. Very good. Cool. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, Cit Citrus is just looking so good. I mean, you see them, uh, obviously, you know who's in the number one spot now, right? And to see those two teams pair up again and just look absolutely, I mean, just almost unstoppable to a certain extent. I mean, their their scores are so consistent. They're getting the triple climbs there, uh, filling up rockets in playoffs and stuff. It's just uh, absolutely amazing. It's so cool to see Citrus. You know, when we saw the uh, reveal video come out, uh, I, I think a lot of people are like, nah, eh, that's, that's cool, but not really going to work. We're not really practical. Right. And some people were very wild at the same time. And I think they're showing off, Hey, it does work. We can dream big and we can really make it happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yep. Cool. So drama's kind of gone, but, uh, our team <laughs> <laughs> taking our number one spot is going to be none, none other than 1323. From Madera, California, Madera high school. It's mad town robotics. 31 and oh undefeated through two events were the winners the central valley and sacramento regionals so undefeated through events is something we're used to out of california but instead of the 254 machine it's the blue machine from mad town mm -hmm. this sort of machine floats across the field begins in sandstorm with their bread and butter mid-level hatch front and back on the rocket and then extends into teleop avoiding defense scoring points then quickly elevating on the third level hab uh for the end of the match i'll remind you they're undefeated through mm -hmm. two events uh, and who knows how high the ceiling is for 1323, but we certainly cannot wait to find out. So it's going to be a battle um, at the Houston Championship for sure. Um, but I'm really excited to watch Madtown and just see how far they can take this season uh, with this robot, which appears to be a, a particularly special one from a team that's really turned out some incredible robots the past few mm -hmm. years. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, RC described his team as like the poor man's 254, but clearly that's not the case this season. <laughs> that, at that's all. Like called being are. very humble. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, 
yeah, it, it was really cool to have him on Roast and Robots a few weeks ago and to yeah. kind of get an, just like a, a really, you know, unfiltered look into how they operate and kind of his thoughts on, you know, how he mentors and gets his students to perform to a point where they're able to, you know, be undefeated through two really tough regionals. So I can't wait to see them at Champs. Um, yeah. I've always been amazed at, you know, the last few years watching their robot has been incredible. Like their drivers are amazing. You know, the the robot itself is incredible. So, I mean, they're, they're killing it this season. I can't wait to see them at Champs. Yeah. Agreed. Sweet. Another top 25 in the books. Yeah. Week four, cruising right through. <laughs> We're getting good at this now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Even before yeah, 30, wow, things are really starting to come together now. <laughs> and the Scooty brings up a good point in the chat. Citrus and Madtown got a 120 point no foul um, match. Oh my goodness! You know, which yeah. I think is the, the high score, which I think is in the clips of the week video as well. So um, that, that was a that was a double completed rocket, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely and, and, insane. And right, during... <laughs> We need your help to keep fun at loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.